Welcome back to a brand new video, TVF Gaming jumping back into the infected. So we have a couple things going on. First of all, I already recorded the first five or six minutes of today's episode, and then it all went bad. So we're in a little bit of deja vu action because our game crashed, which is the first time it's ever fully crashed like that. I'm actually pretty bummed about it. I'm not sure what caused it, uh, but it happened quick. I was over there fighting some guys. We killed the guys, and then everything froze. So we're going to go over here and try and get a couple things done today. Yeah, that door definitely closed on its own. Close those guys. So it is currently 10 a.m. day 37, and it is October, no, November fall. It is going to get cold here in just a second. But we'll work on a couple things up here. I need to turn the light on because we're about to get an attack, I believe. Let's double check this. Let's go like that. Boom. Oh, yeah, we're getting an attack here in just a minute. All right, so we'll wait on this attack. we got a lot of things going. I will show the little clip at the very end of the video. I'll show the clip of us fighting those guys when it froze. That'll just be at the very, very end of the video if you guys want to check that out. But, yeah, man, it was kind of crazy. So we're starting over. So let, let me talk about a couple things while we're waiting on the attack to happen. We got a couple things done in the last episode to include making the stone grinder. And we got ourselves a nice little stairway up. And we got kind of our first foundations up there that we're going to build up there. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to build the smeltery. And, yes, smeltery is definitely a word, just not in the dictionary. Smeltery. We're going to build a smeltery up here. Let me change into some winter pants. Hold on. Winter pant action time. Let's go like this. And switch pants. Switch pants. There you go. They've been hanging for a while. All right. Cool. We got, we got a new pair of pants. All right. We should be warm enough now since it's going to cool off quite a bit. Oh, also, we are going to build the staircase here. I know I've seen this tip a few times that I need to hurry up and build some stairs there so I can stop falling <laughs> in between there. It's only happened like 20 times, but uh, we'll try to do that. But, yeah, we fixed this little staircase up here. I redid it like two or three times with you guys, and I did it re like four or five times on my own afterwards. And we finally got it to where it kind of looks pretty good. Also, we had foundations there before, and Mike can't go through foundations. So the foundations were not passable. Uh, it was just completely Gandalf there, shall not pass type stuff. Let's go ahead and see, though. I think it looks a lot better, and now you can see up on top, right here, it doesn't have that little gap in between. So right there and right there, there's not that little weird gap in the building, so it looks a lot, a lot better. I also moved the NPC building over, so this, is what, this one's all good to go. And we got all the storage back in here again, so we're good there. And that gives us enough room back here for a small small smeltery. Or, or I was thinking we can go with like some kind of like small warehouse. Or, I don't know, we have to think about this. Or we can move the powerhouse over here and do a little powerhouse back here. Maybe even build into this little bit so that we don't have all these giant poles sticking down. I haven't decided exactly how we're going to do this yet, but we got to figure that out. But what I want to do is get the smeltery going so we can have our stone grinder next to a bunch of forges so we can really start going on our iron and start getting all of our ores like crazy. So there's that. All right, we're about to get this attack. Let's stay a little closer to the ground. Fingers crossed. Hopefully we don't get the attack this time. If we do get the attack uh, and it freezes, I mean, no, we're going to get the attack. Hopefully it doesn't freeze this time. If it does freeze, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Maybe we leave the base area to get the attack. I don't know. But hopefully that's not going to be a problem. So let's not worry about it right now. Let's work on a little bit of iron just for the last few seconds while we're waiting on these guys. Oh, no. Am I stuck? No, we have to go this way. That's right. Uh, yeah, there's me getting stuck again. We're going to move those things. They're not going to be there much longer. So we'll, we'll wrap those really, really soon. Also, I did right before the, the freeze. We went ahead and ate one of these like that. Boom. And do I have anything else to eat? We can eat these ones. There you go. And a little bit of water. Boom. All right. Okay, we're good. Oh, here we go. Attack is incoming. Now, we fought it from over here last time. But we're going to actually go out there. All right, especially if it's the same style of attack. We're going to go out there and fight them face to face. Face to ugly vampire face. Let's do this. All right. We'll wait on it for just a second. I'll be super patient. We're good at that. All right, but yeah, they, they busted through the spikes like it was absolutely nothing. These things go like cottage cheese. They, they ripped through these. But, yeah, I was thinking about how we're going to do the actual base defenses. And I know we talked about moving all of this back. We're not going to do that now. We're going to actually leave this layer here no matter what. And then we're going to create a second layer, a third layer, back behind there. So that's the general goal and idea that we're going to go with. Uh, let's get these guys on this side. Now, I'm wondering, if I'm on top of here... Can they still reach me? I think they can reach me right here. I don't know. But we might do like a little bit of jump back and forth action as we kind of hide from them. But, man, while we're waiting on them, thank you so much for all the comments on the recent videos. I did go back and answer most of the comments from two videos ago, but I still got to work on the most recent video, and we'll get working on that. I answered a few, but I just didn't have time to do all of them before we had to start recording today. But, yeah, we, we're a little limited on recording time today because we had a, 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 an amazing dental appointment today. Super fun. All right. Come on. Come on. 
All right, our spear's doing okay, right? I didn't actually check that. Arrows were doing okay, too. Well, which is a bummer, because right before the horde came, or right before the, the, the bad guys came, there was a pig over there, and I killed that, and now that's gone. That's too bad. We would have had a free pig. Oh, actually, there's one right there. No, that's Mike. <laughs> we're about to shoot Mike. All right. Okay, waiting just for a few more seconds on this. It should come any minute now. All right, and then I think that's the main ideas that we had. Oh, I did see a really cool wall idea in that Foolish Girls video where she used a half wall and then the half glass wall. I think the half glass wall looks so good. We're going to end up using that, this little half glass wall. So you go wood on the bottom and then glass on top. Oh, it's going to look good. It looks really cool on one of the buildings she built over there. Uh, let me see. You guys coming? They might be teasing me. Maybe the restart changed things, but we should hear him yell in just a second. All right. We can do a quick, quick fight while we're waiting. No, oh, no, come on. <laughs> Stop. I'm trying to do it quickly, and we're not doing very good here. There you go. All right, let's do this. Let's go a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Make sure we work on these. We need to really step up our fragment game up here until we can get the grinder going. All right, get those. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's happening. Let's go. Yep. Come on, dude. Open. <laughs> Close. Here they come. Where are they at? There they are. Ready? Get it. Get it. Oh, this is a bad idea. What were we thinking? It's fine. Everything's going fine. Come on. Come get some, guys. There you go. Get stuck on those spikes. And the car. There you go. All right, there you go, there you go, there you go. Mike, watch out, dude. Don't get in there, Mike. Okay, hold on. Let's heal up, heal up, heal up. Man, just taking it to him is the way to go, too. That was way less spikes broken than the last time. Last time they broke spikes, they broke... Oh, you know what? Did they break the land claim block? I need to go back and look at the video. They might have. Is that what caused the problem? I'll have to look at that. Now, I saw you guys... Oh, there's that pig. He's back. We can do this. I saw your guys' comments, though, on the uh, on the land claim block, and you said that I can move it to kind of readjust where we're building at. My question with that is, can I move it without messing everything up, or do I just make a new land claim block? I'm not really sure. Mike, you okay, buddy? I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Mike might be stuck. Did you get bit? If you got bit, you have to stay out there. All right, let's go ahead and ignore him for a minute. Let's go ahead and shoot this pig. We're going to actually jump up here. I kind of noticed something when we were goofing off earlier. If I jump on top of this metal gate, it seems to mess up the AI. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm going to test it again. Let's see. It might not work this time, but we'll test it. Yeah, look like he doesn't know where to go. See? There you go. He doesn't kind of he kind of doesn't know where to go. I don't know if that's what was going on, but it definitely seems to work. All right, let's save it just in case anything bad happens. Okay, let's get to work. That was a little bit of a, little bit of a derail. Had to get over there and defend the base. Slowly working on that. Mike is doing a great job on logs. We're almost good to go there again. I need a cart so we can go get... Hold on, let's do this. We'll grab this one. One, two, three. And four. Take those off real quick. Let's go pick up that pig before I forget. Get our arrows back. And then we'll work on make sure our food and water is good to go. And then we'll get to work today. So, man, lots of progress. So, yeah, today is going to be smeltery day. We want to get that smeltery done. And smeltery is absolutely a word. All right, let's go in here, out here. And let's go get this pig. I know we're sprinting too much. <laughs> that, that's probably the one tip. If you guys tell us not to sprint, that's probably the one thing that I can't. I just can't stop doing it, man. My, my pinky and the sprint button all the time. All right. Let's go ahead and put you right there. I'm going to grab a little bit of corn and a little bit of this cucumber. And then anything else? A little bit of frog. Take that. There you go. We're a great hunter of frogs. All right, throw this up. Throw that up. Awesome. All right, very cool. Now, we'll work on the barn eventually, too. I do want to get the barn soon. I know that that's something we got to work on. And in terms of the other stuff that we need power with, I see that you guys are telling me the oil refinery and the water house are two of the things that we absolutely have to focus on as well. So those we need to focus on. Uh, but I think right now we're going to focus a little more on the building of the smelter because I really need I need iron like crazy. Oh, I need, honestly, all the ores like crazy. But we need a lot of iron so I can build some more extractors. And then once we can go crazy on extractors, I'll have a whole bunch here for stone and everything else. I know. What am I doing? This doesn't go over here. Well, let's leave this over here. All right. Well, I'll let the stamina go all the way up this time. All right. Let's go in here. 
and drop it right there. Boom. Cool. All right. Let's do a quick chop of, should we chop it up or should we leave it? I think we're good on food right now. Oh, yeah. We got a little bit of food to eat right here. Boom. Eat that. Eat that. Eat that. There you go. All that's full. A little bit of that. That. There you go. We're pretty full across the board. Nice. We're going to take two of those, put one back, and I'm going to go give these to Mike if he wants them. There we go. I feel, feel pretty good. All right. Let's get to work on this little smeltery place and see if we can get it going. All right. Let's go like that and like that. There you go. A little bit of stuff for Mike. Oh, also, I need to double check your priority list. You should be repair first. Repair, logs, plant beds. Got it. So we're going to leave him like that for a little while. I do need to switch him back to, to just the plant beds really soon. But yeah, what I was thinking we could do, actually, you know what would be kind of cool? If we go corner piece here, and then, all right, this is what we're thinking. So we're going to go, let's go wall. So I'll just kind of show you by doing. So I don't want to go all the way over here because we don't want to get too close to that. So we're going to go all the way over here. We're going to go walls there. Hopefully they're all facing the right way. I'll double check the backside and like that. And then here, I'm going to try to figure out how to do the side piece. I saw you guys tell me how to do this a couple times. I'm going to see if I can figure it out real quick. Uh, can I put a foundation under a foundation? I can do it everywhere except for where I want to. Oh, wait, there it goes. There it goes. Don't move. Boom. Okay. Now I need four and six. One, two, three. One, two, there you go. There's that one. And then six planks. I hope this works. But this was from a comment many, many videos ago, and I, I saw it and wanted to try it out. Hopefully it doesn't look... <laughs> it looks a little crazy, right? It looks a little crazy, but I think it's okay. Now I can go with this weird wall, uh, the little curved wall. Boom, got it. Yeah, there you go. There we go. There we go. Still gives me enough room to get through. Hopefully Mike will have no issues there. Gives us a building all the way to the edge. Kind of maximize our space here. And we can build under this no problem. And eventually I can actually get rid of the stairs and then rebuild the stairs later. But yeah, that, that's it, man. That's what we're doing. We can actually stretch out a little bit this way. All right, I want to move these extractors over here. I want to see how the extractor is going to look right underneath like that. So let's go like this, like that. I know this is a clay soil extractor, so this is not one of the ones we need over here. But we're going to keep all the extractors together. But I want to put it, like, on the ground. Is there anywhere down here where it will work? Or will it not work underneath this foundation? It might not work under the foundation. What if we go... Dang it. It's going to give us trouble here. No. Maybe we should go up top with it. Uh, let's go all the way around and up, carrying this. So if we go up here, I can put it on there, right? No. Oh, that's outside the land claim. Oh. Okay, there you go. So it'll go there. <laughs> uh, it doesn't want to be next to the foundations for sure. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to figure this out. So there you go. At least, oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Oh, it's a weird spot. It's kind of, it's kind of chilling on that rock right there, isn't it? It is. All right, you go ahead and turn on for right now. I'm gonna leave you there for just a minute. I was hoping to put you down there, but I'm thinking if I get rid of those two foundations, I can put you there. We're gonna try that. So let's do that. Let's get rid of a foundation. I'll build these walls first. All right, get you. There you go. We need way more planks. We'll go grab planks in just a second. Three of there. Oh, dude, good job, Mike. We're back on track. Three of those. Three of that one. Three of this one. Perfect. All right, a bunch of planks. And then we'll get rid of those two foundations. All right. Oh, man, I love these circular saws. Yeah, and I know, I know we need the oil refinery really soon, too. We'll have to work on that as well. All right. A little bit of planks. 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 I definitely didn't grab as many as I need. It's all right. We're close. Oh, we did. Okay, just need three more logs. Okay, I'm as surprised as you are. Got it. Perfect. All right, looking pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so now, like I said, 
we can probably go foundations here. Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. We can fill that in. Like so. Alright. And we might end it, like I said, get rid of the stairs so that way this is more of an unimpeded building area. But then what I want to do is hopefully this doesn't destroy everything. No! I lost those two. The two logs are dead to us. I don't know if I can get down there and get back out, so... Uh, <laughs> we're not gonna not not gonna risk it. All right, now how would it look right there? We don't have to move it just yet. I just want to test it. Oh, those. Oh, there you go. There you go. Just like that. Boom. It's like the perfect. And then what I can do is I can do a half rail. Half rail. Open rail. Oh, open rail. Like that. We can do a couple railings around it to make sure I don't fall still. What do you think? Uh, what do you think, Mike? <gasps> Are you picking those logs up? Dude, you're amazing. Mike's amazing. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I, let me know what you guys think. I think it's just cool because then they're kind of like, it'll be like hidden extractors, basically. Uh, do you know what I didn't do is I'll have to figure out how to do a wall now. I guess we could do foundations back there. And I wish we could go, if we could go double right here, that'd be huge. Let me grab the other one. Now, eventually, these will all be just the mineral extractors and not the clay soil ones. Those will be put in a different spot. They don't need to be in the same area. All right, we're going to put you there just real quick. And then figure out how we're going to do this. Let's see. I don't know if it'll fit down in this little crevasse right here. Okay. Man, I wish it would fit right there. Like, like a little Lego piece. Tetris. Not quite. Okay. Now, the other question is, now, can I build foundations over it? <gasps> I can. If I build a foundation there, can I still access it? <gasps> Must try. Must try. I love building. This is the first, you know, I'm not much of a builder. I think I told you guys before. I'm not much of a builder. Uh, we don't always know what we're doing when we're building. We kind of make it up as we go, and I watch a lot of people's builds, and I kind of take what I can from them. Like, I've been watching pretty hardcore uh, Grojin with his giant build, and that foolish girl with her very vertical build, and then Raging Diesel with his build. Like, and there's so many other people. If I, if I don't name a name, it's not because I don't love your guys' videos. There's so many good ones out there. Uh, and, I, and I watch a bunch of their videos and try to bring some of that back to my video. And sometimes it works. <gasps> okay, can I access it? <gasps> I can access it. This is the happiest I've ever been. I mean, well, I mean, not ever, but in the last five minutes. Okay, so we don't need you. Don't need you. We don't need safety here. Oh, my God, this is incredible. We're going to we're gonna make so much stuff here. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm actually going to delete, like, all of these foundations here. And we'll line these up as tight as we can. And then, oh, this is cool. I am so stoked about this. All right. Let's do a quick drop real quick. Um, let's see. You know, we can just do this. You hold those planks there. Let me go downstairs and do a quick drop off. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was huge. But uh, we need to get a little bit of a mineral extractor and, and move a couple more over to the cave very soon. So let's go like that. That. Let's grab that. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is it. And we'll do one. Oh, no, don't do the steel because I don't have a place to put it. All right, and then we'll go up here. We'll go stones. Got it. And boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. All right, place the iron. Put the stone back. Steel goes over here. Completely out of fragments again. How are we doing on electrical and mechanical? We're out of that stuff too. All right, iron over here again. Seed action and the arrows. I don't know why arrows go in here, but that's where arrows go. All right, we definitely need to move all this and get. Oh wow, we have all that up there. I forgot about this. Check this out. Boom. Let's grab all that. And I definitely need it smelted. So we're actually going to smelt all of that next. Cool. Drop my plank out here. All right. Okay. Uh, in, in order to let Mike... Uh, Mike, are you okay, dude? Mike? You good, buddy? There you go. Go go back. You got this. I believe in you. Want to be like Mike. Uh, he gave up and went inside. I have those days too, buddy. All right. Let me just make sure. Hopefully, we're not blocking him or anything. Okay. I think we're on track. So, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to do a quick road trip. We're going to go down to one of the villages. 
this is kind of to give him time to work on logs a little bit. And oh, we could, man, I could smelt. I don't know. Maybe I should stay and smelt. But I, I was thinking about going down to a town real quick, get some supplies that we need, and then start kind of working on that stuff. Uh, boom, grab all that. There you go. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cobalt, a couple of aluminum. Grab that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight copper, two aluminum. Perfect. It worked out perfect. Grab those. There you go, man. Slowly getting it back together. And we need, I think it's 18 ingots to do another extractor. Let me see about the extractor. Because what I want to do is get the extractor. One more extractor over there in the cave. So let's work on that instead. 18 iron ingots. So I just need a couple more iron ingots. And then we'll have that. Eight planks, eight nails. Easy. Easy, easy money. Definitely do that. All right. Let's let that smelt up. Let's start moving some more of this upstairs so we can get ready to demolish this. This is going to go up in our little... You know what? I don't have, like, a dedicated craft area once we move up here, do I? Hmm. We should rethink this. Uh, for right now, you're going to go there. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, and I'm not going to remember where it's at. But at least it's out of the way. So we can move stuff while we're waiting. Like I said, I, I really do want to do a road trip to get some of the supplies that we need. But for right now, we're just going to move up stuff upstairs so we can start demoing and redoing that little part right there so Mike won't get stuck there anymore. So just for right now, I'm going to put these things up here just so they're out of the way, and hopefully I won't forget them. There you go. That, oh, that's all crooked. I can't leave it like that. That foolish girl will go nuts. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Boom. Got it. All right. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm the same way if, if I see something that's like crooked like that. If I see it, it's going to drive me absolutely crazy. All right, let's go a little bit of water really quick. Drink and come on. Fill that back up. And then get just a little bit of water. And you guys told me that I can use one stick instead of a firewood to do that. So let's do this. And boom. Hopefully that's going to make it. That's not very much fuel. But hopefully it does. Hopefully it'll fill it up. Cool. We'll let that go. Let's go ahead and grab one dried meat. We'll eat that in just a second. All right. We're working. We're working. Uh, man. Uh, I don't want to touch anything in there. That's doing its thing. We should probably tell him to do it, do that again soon as well. All right. Did it work? Yeah. Sure enough. Okay. So one stick is enough to get clean water. That is good. Okay. Drink that. Put that back over there. Oh, I should have... What am I doing? I should have ate, then drank. My bad. Okay, let's keep moving. Moving and smelting. Moving and smelting. That's that's what we'll do. All right. Get all those. Drop those off. Get those. And then the top one, same thing. A little bit of copper. There you go. Get this all filled back up. Looking better. Oh, and the aluminum. Perfect. All right, let's get back on a little bit of iron. So we can get these last bits of iron, then we'll get ourselves another extractor, and we'll head over to the cave real quick. There you go. Also, did I? I don't know if I emptied out the bike. I need to double check that. There you go. Nice. Okay, that one's good. Let me double check that the bike is empty, because we got to go over to the cave in a minute. All right, good. I hope you're doing good, man. <laughs> Hopefully you're still doing what you got to do. All right, and then... I guess we could load up some of this in the bike. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 16. So two more. All right, there's 16. There you go. We'll load that up. Oh, noise value is getting a little high. Get those in. Boom. There you go. We'll get this other extractor going. Now, uh, I know we need an oil pump. How expensive is the oil pump? Can I put it right here for right now? Other placeable. Other. Oil pump. Oh, my goodness. It's expensive. 50 iron, 20 steel. It's expensive, but we definitely need it. We just can't do it just yet. Uh, same with the water house. Water house is nice because we can disconnect, like, only run it occasionally. But I don't know if I want to do that just yet. All right. We'll wait on this. Get myself a couple iron fragments going. One, two, boom. All right, that one should finish. And we'll throw them right back on there. Boom. And we'll fill this one up with stone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this one, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. There we go. All right. That'll give us enough iron to do the extractor. So let's go fragment there, stone there. And then how many planks do we need for the build? Placeable other extractor. We need 18, eight, eight planks and eight nails. So eight planks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then nails I probably don't have. Uh, we need eight. Wow. Is that right? I think we got it. All right. Eight and eight. Cool. All right. As soon as this is done, we're good to go. All right. One more set of smelting. Let's go ahead and take our loom upstairs. This can go in the bedroom. Oh, no. We don't want to put anything in the bedroom because that's going to go away too. All right. Loom's going to go just right here for right now. We're going to kind of live in the kitchen a little bit <laughs> just for the next few days. So I think that's where a lot of it's going to move. And then I got to figure out what we want to do with storage. We definitely want like a, a nice little storage warehouse area. But we'll have to figure out how to do that. All right. Uh, that's good. Let's move. I'm going to keep the workbench down here, which is also crooked. My bad. Is it crooked? It seemed like it was crooked. Maybe I was just, maybe I was crooked. All right. Put that back in here. Okay. I'm going to keep that down here. Also, well, hold on. I was going to say, didn't I move the chemistry station? No, we moved the advanced workbench. I'm going to throw the chem station up here just for right now as well. All right. We'll throw you over here. These are all just temporary spots. So we can start demoing a little bit. And then what else? Uh, like I said, workbench, we're going to leave. These two things got to go. They can just come back here for right now. And we'll start demoing the front first. Let's go like that. I do want to go ahead and just, we're just going to get rid of this because it does close every time we restart. Get rid of that. Boom. Nice. Okay. So that, that way that's no longer a problem. And we can switch to a different stairway staircase way here in a minute if we want to I think what we'll do is do the short stairs down that way but for right now that'll work let's also get rid of this one got that cool so that at least fixes that and then we're gonna start getting rid of this front side too like basically all of this will go away I might leave some of the float like foundations with some poles underneath I'm not sure all right how's our smelting are we good that one's good. All right, put those there. Here, we're going to drop these. Mike will pick them up for us. And then up here. There we go. There's our other pieces. And then we grab some fuel, and we'll run across to the thing real quick. I know we're a little close on noise value, but I think we're good. Uh, what do we, Fuel. Like that. All right, let's go build one, drop one, and then... You guys said that I need to worry a little bit about defense over there, so should I go over there with a little bit of defensive stuff? Let's grab some ropes. Let's grab a full stack of ropes. Like that. Oh, close that, close that. Let's do a quick run across to the thing. I already filled this up with fuel, so it's brand, brand new full. And run over here, and I'll build just some spikes around it just to make sure, but they shouldn't attack it because we're far enough away. But if I'm over here and they attack, I know they will destroy the extractor. I've seen it happen in someone else's video now, so I know for sure that I'm not crazy on that one. At least not for that reason. Here you go, man. Oh, my God, we're 30 minutes in already. <laughs> the time, man. All right, like I said, at the end of this, I am going to show the clip of what happened when the game froze. It was really weird. It's the first time that our game has, like, fully done that. It was definitely weird. Uh, okay, so we want to want to move these guys back a little bit so I can defend them easier. Hopefully that's still down. Also, remember to turn it on this time. Boom. All right. And then we're going to build the other one here. Placeable other extractor. Boom. Okay. Get this guy built there. We just need the rest of those ingots. Got that. Nice. All right. Build that guy up. Turn that guy on. Boom. All right. So it's five minutes to pull things if I do one specific ore it's longer that's what I wanted to see so it's 10 minutes per if you do the other ones it's one minute per with the stone got it so stone goes pretty quick but if we want it to be everything it's five minutes per pull got it okay cool now we know let's go one at a time so I can do this one one and one leave this one here as an emergency oh wait gotta grab first take all that there. Alright. 
Oh, we're so overweight. Please don't attack now. Also, no scorpions. Where's the scorpion at? Got a scorpion sneaking on us yet? All right, cool. That'll give us a little bit more ore we can go smelt up. So let's go like that. All of the ores. Perfect. All right, cool. Let's head back across. Oh, that's right. We forgot to do... I think it's space bar is like the, the break. Like that. I got it to work a couple times. Go like this. Well, now it's not working. All right. <laughs> now we're driving into trees. Okay. Let's go back. We got a bunch of stuff to smelt up now. So now we have two extractors in there. Did I turn the second one on? That is a good question. I think we did. Oh, 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 oh. Got him. There we go. Did I get those arrows last time when I went and got that pig? I don't know if I did. Arrow. Now I'm not sure. We're at 14, so I'm not really sure. All right, cool. I can make a couple rations, right? Do we have two chicken? Nice. Yeah, we could hopefully make a couple rations with that. All right, back on it. Let's go. I'm going to let him fill up the logs completely, and then I'll work a little bit on the farm stuff with him. Another pig. Those pigs look a lot like cows. All right. Uh, where are we at? We got totally lost on the way back. All right. We got to start working on the house up there. So many projects. Yep. Stop. Okay. Is that me opening or Mike? Okay. All right. Grab it all. I know we're going to be overweight for just a second. All right. Uh, let's go do this real quick. We're going to go drop these things off, and then that's going to do it for today's episode. I'm going to show you guys a clip of what happened in the other attack. It was a lot of fun. We definitely jumped down and got a little bit of fighting going. Uh, but I'll show that, and that'll be the end of the video. But I appreciate your guys' support. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Let's go just a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. All right. Grab whatever's there. A little bit of everything. Smelt all the smelting. There you go. Perfect. Throw the leftover iron there. Throw our little bit of ores back over here. Ore, ore, and fragments, and I completely forgot to build a couple spikes over there. That's okay. We'll do that later. And planks out here. Nice. Rolling. Cool. All right. That was awesome. That was a good run today. We got a lot done. I didn't get, like, a very specific thing done today, but we definitely got a lot of, like, just small things done. I'm going to work a little bit more on... We're going to heal up first because we did take a beating earlier. I'm going to work a little bit more on some of this stuff. The logs are starting to fill up. Good. I'm going to work on these, and then we're going to get these little things sunk underneath like that. This is kind of the coolest building thing that we've done just on our own, like making things up. Uh, and then we can do, now that that's there, I can do the wall behind it. This is perfect. All right, so we're going to definitely move this one. Got him. I got him this time. All right. We'll just hold on to him this time. And then we'll do the same thing down here. Looks like I have the thing on the back. They don't have to line up the exact same, but if they do, that's cool. Or we could even go like this. Hold on. We could go like that and put it a little bit closer. Uh, boom. How's that look? Uh, it's going to be slightly higher. That's okay, though. I'm okay with that. All right. And then we can go foundation back down through here. Boom. All right. Just need a couple more planks. We'll have to get some more plank action going. But like I said, I'm going to let him work on that a lot. We'll work on either stone or wood on our own. There you go. And two more logs. One, two. There you go, man. I don't know. I just think it looks cool. Uh, it might be not the best idea. Oh, we need, we need fuel in you. Okay, let's grab some fuel. We'll get that one started. I need to do that now before I do anything else. And we'll switch it to just stone for now. Even though I really do like getting the iron out of it, we're going to switch it to just stone so we can start working on our stone collection up there. Uh, fuel. Four more of those. There you go. And that shouldn't be a problem anymore. Him getting through there. That's great. All right. Last thing we'll do, and then we'll, we'll end it. I know I keep saying that we're going to end it, but eventually. Eventually. All right. And then we'll go boom. Got it. Extract stone only. Power on. Every minute it's going to pull some stone. That's perfect. And then we'll get a couple of these put in here. We'll get a couple put in, and then we will have the grinder over here next to it. And then, boom, we can grind up tons of these. In fact, the grinder can go right there with one on each side of it. We'll have two on each side. This is going to be perfect. There you go. The smeltery takes shape. 
And then I'll figure out how we're going to do like the, the forges and stuff like that or the brick forges. All right, guys. I'm going to end it there, man. That was a lot of fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope uh, that that little building tip was kind of cool. I'm, I'm just really excited about that. Uh, we'll get to work on the base very soon up here with the glass and stuff like that. We'll start working on that now that we have a little bit more copper and we have another extractor going. All right. I'm going to end it here. See you guys next episode. Uh, check out the clip afterwards. Thank you so much for the comments. If you made it to the end of the video, my MVP. Huge shout out to my patrons because they make this channel possible. See you guys in the next one. I didn't kill him, did I? We're hitting him. Does he not know where to go because I'm on top of this? That might be a thing. Oh, the light value just reset. Okay, how many arrows do I have? Not a lot. Uh, my bow is not doing great. But I can sit right here and do some shooting. There it is. It's coming. Oh, jeez. Where are they coming from today? I hear you. That means there's a double, though. Did you hear the double announcement? Come on, man. We're about to get just ransacked. Our poor base. The amount of, of spikes that we have to build daily. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure. Did we break the AI by standing up here? Hold on. There they are. I'm telling you, I don't think they know what to do if we're on top of here. Oh my god, lag. No. Oh, the lag is bad. Hold on. Okay, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Get closer. Come right here. Come right here. Don't throw rocks at me, you jerk. This is a no rock throwing zone. No. Oh, we're going to die. I can't even see. But just keep clicking. Keep clicking, keep clicking, keep clicking. Keep clicking. Oh, God. All right. Oh, Mike, you scared the crap out of me. Oh, we got just full lag, man. Please don't crash or anything. Okay. We have a pretty nice computer. I don't think it's like computer lag. I don't know. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that because I'm not 100% sure. All right. We need a little bit of bandage action. That hurt a little bit. All right. You guys are jerks, man. No, we're still freezing. Oh, we made our game mad. No, my, my stats on my computer are doing fine. The RAM's not up. CPU's not up. But our game is not happy right now. Please don't freeze. Uh, okay. I'm going to keep an eye on it. We did something the game didn't like.